This is going to be a very basic look at um, beginning Python scripting uh, for Blender 3D and in Blender 2.5. I'm running Blender 2.5 beta, Blender 2.56 to be exact. And um, this is just a basic way for you to get started playing with Python in Blender. Now, um, as you can see, we've got our default scene here. And if we go up to the top here and we pull this top toolbar down, and we do something down here like delete that default cube you see that a line here is added and that is the Python code for deleting that cube same as if we were to add a cube like so you can see that it added a cube right there um, you can also add other things like spheres and stuff like that and you'll get lines of code for that and uh, as you saw I can right click up here and it highlights the line there is a glitch right now that kind of makes everything kind of disappear for a second there when you do that, but no problems. You just click back down here and everything reappears. But if you right-click up here until that's highlighted blue and press Control-C to copy, you can come down here and let's drag this window up a little bit and turn it into a Python console. And then I'll delete this default cube. Once again, you saw a line added up there. But if I Control-V and paste that line of code that I copied from up here and press Enter, the mouse over here, press enter, you see it adds the cube there. I can move that cube out of the way, paste that line in there again, hit enter, and it adds the cube again. Let's have a look at this basic uh, Python code here. Uh, first part here is saying that we're using Blender Python module, uh, and then I'm assuming that OPS stands for operations, maybe? And then we're adding a mesh it's a primitive cube and we're adding it and then everything in between these uh, parentheses here are um, options you can put in there now this last section for layers I really don't know anything about that but uh, pretty much it's putting in all the default stuff so you actually don't need that you can erase all that like so and if I grab and move this cube out of the way I can now hit enter on that and you can see it does the same thing because all these layer options were the default anyway so you don't have to put that in there same for this edit mode false that means after adding it if you want to go straight into edit mode for that object default is false so we can remove that and view align false I'm assuming that maybe that aligns it with the view I haven't really played with that yet you can change that to true and see what happens but if I move that cube out of the way and I press enter down here now you can see it adds the cube so really the base code we need is this and actually I'm betting if you just want default in the center not rotated you can erase out that information too but let's play with the location and rotation here a little bit let me delete that cube and we'll play with the location we've got X Y and Z X is left and right Y is front and back and Z is up and down so let's move uh, X to 5 and press enter and see what happens so you can see it move the cube over here instead of in the center there we'll do the same for uh, rotation let's rotate on the Z axis let's make that 25 uh, we'll delete this cube up here and we'll hit enter and you can see it's slightly rotated we'll delete that cube again and we will turn that number up a little bit more maybe to 150 so now you can see the cube is rotated and once again we can rotate on the Y and X axis as well. We'll change that to 150 and you can see it added a cube in that location. Let's delete that one and it rotated it that way. So this is the base code you need right here for creating a cube and setting its location and rotation. And uh, obviously we're working in the Python console here, but um, you can throw this stuff into scripts as well, which we'll work in in the next tutorial. But I wanted to give you a base view of that. Let's quickly, let's do something else. We'll do a sphere here. So we'll add a UV sphere. So now that we have that, we can come up here. Just right click on that, turns blue. Once again, everything down here gets washed out. That just seems to be a little glitch. Um, but we can control C to copy that. Come down here, control V. Once again, we can remove stuff like the layer options and I'll look into the future on exactly what that is. I'm assuming, you know, part of it is what layer it goes on, but it obviously has a lot more options than just that. Uh, we have the rotation, which it's a sphere, so 
you're not going to notice too much rotation unless you're going to be uh, using modeling it in a certain way. The location is not set to 0, 0, 0 because my 3D cursor was in a, separate, a different place, so it's set to those values. But let's um, come down here and set these to 0, 0, 0 with the commas in between. We will remove edit mode, alignment, and ring count and size. Obviously, you can change the ring size a ring count and segments, which would be uh, the number of polygons in there. The higher the number, the smoother the sphere will be, but also the longer, more system resources it uses up. So it should appear right where this cube is. Let's delete this cube. But since we set the location to 0, 0, 0, we should be able to hit enter now. Ta-da! We add a sphere. So once again, that's just a quick look at a nice little feature on this information window here, which all you have to do is drag that down. And everything you do uh, that uses Python scripts, will the lines will appear up there. So adding materials and textures, importing images, all that stuff uh, happens up there. So thank you for this first look at some simple Python stuff that's not game-related, although can be used in the game uh, atmosphere, but if you're trying to write your own plugins or scripts to automate stuff, that is a nice way to get started and just get a feel for things. And that's, uh, uh, as far as me learning it, I'm not much past that point myself. I've written a few little scripts just to play around, add materials to textures, or textures to materials to objects. Um, but hopefully as I learn more, I'll share it with you. And I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. And please visit filmsbychris.com, and the link in the description, the first link will be to the post on this on my site, which will have a uh, bit of the information we went over in this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.